Hey friends, welcome back to Pastor Kevin and Friends. Yes, that's you and you and you and you. Hey Jonathan, oh there's Kirk, hey. How you doing bud? And I, hi mom, and I am so glad to get to see each and every one of you. I really wish you could be right here right now so we could be with each other because being together is important to me. Hey, uh, this last week, some of you started back to school. Some of you getting ready to start school and school is a great thing, but sometimes School can be very scary. We don't know who our teacher's going to be. Are we going to have the same friends? Are we going to have to make new friends? Maybe some of the classes are going to be kind of tough so we can have some fear. But there's other things we might fear as well. Maybe you're afraid of the dark. Uh, maybe you're afraid of uh, snakes, Ugh. spiders, Ugh. or other bugs. Uh, maybe you're afraid of the dark. That's okay. Uh, Monsters under the bed. Now, that's a good fear to have because there may be a monster under my bed. There's something under there. I'm not sure what it was. Uh, but but we all have different things that we're afraid of. Maybe it's a fear of heights. Maybe um, it's a fear of water. Whatever it is, we all have fears. Now, let's say that this is our life, and sometimes we can let it get filled up with those fears. Fear of heights. Fear of the dark. Fear of strange places. Fear of strange people. Fear of strange things. Ah, fear of broccoli. Fear of different things. And that can start to fill up our life. And we don't know what to do. We get really scared. Well, I have a power verse for us. The Bible says, cast your cares upon the Lord and he will sustain you. He will not let the righteous be shaken. Psalms 50:12. Whatever our fears are, what we need to do is not let them bottle up inside of us. We need to take them to Jesus in prayer. Our prayers, Jesus hears. In fact, the Bible tells us, Jesus said, or God says in Jeremiah 33, 3, call to me and I will answer you. There's a promise. And I will show you great and mighty things you do not know. So when our life is full of fear, what do we need to do? The Bible tells us, Cast your cares, cast your fears, tell God about your fears, and he will sustain you. He will take care of you. He will keep you going, keep you moving forward. He will not let the righteous, those who follow God, love God, and do what he says, be shaken. You don't have to be nervous. Sometimes in our fear, we get nervous and we shake. Oh, I'm scared. But when we pray about them, we give them to God, what does he do? He sustains them. He takes them and he holds us. He holds us tight. How is that able to happen? It's because this is what happens here. The air up here is causing a vacuum or a sucking motion holding onto the piece of paper which keeps the water inside. That's a pretty cool trick. Now, some of it did drip out on the table and I will clean that up. I promise I'll clean that up, Mom. But don't be afraid. Cast your cares to Jesus and he will sustain you because he has loved you with a perfect, an everlasting love. Have a great week, friends.